Hi everybody, I, um, as many of you know, I have been getting asked lots and lots of questions on social media regarding various issues and I'm going to try and put a series of videos together to come and try and uh, cover some of these questions. Um, one of the questions I've been asked is how do you choose a shooting instructor? Great question, being a shooting instructor myself. I think that um, where you actually need to start is start with uh, what you want to achieve. What do you actually want to get out of those shooting lessons that you're proposing? Many people I th who come and see me turn up and see me, and if I'm honest, I have no real idea of what they're trying to achieve. You know, they just want to warm up or whatever. It's much easier if you've got a, a goal that you want to try and achieve. I think that um, you can quite quickly narrow down um, whether you're trying to improve, improve your clay shooting or whether you're trying to improve your game shooting. There are people who are trying to improve both, but they tend to kind of come in one column or the other. Um, and I think you need to be honest with yourself and try and concentrate on one um, to get the best out of, of the instructors that you're seeing. Um, I think the next thing that you need to do is be incredibly honest with yourself and try and work out exactly where you fit in that whole spectrum of novice to experience. And the reason I think that's important, because I think if you are a novice shot, for example, I think it's pretty pointless coming to see a super specialized clay instructor, okay? Because I think the chances are um, you're gonna waste their time and your money, if that makes sense. So I think you need to be quite clear as to where you actually fit in that novice or experienced. Now, don't get me wrong, if you're an experienced shot and you're looking to perhaps move from shooting normal pheasants to really high pheasants, okay, then your specialist instructors are well worth the money. Or likewise, if you are a, a, a B-class shot and you're looking to get to A or double A, then again, I think that's where the specialist boys kick in. Uh, I think during that whole process, one of the things I definitely wouldn't overlook is I wouldn't overlook your local shooting school, particularly as novices. So I think the local shooting schools or local to you have massive a massive depth of talent, which is often underestimated, um, which I'll come on to a little bit later because I'll mention that. So once you kind of narrow down game or clay, perhaps a little bit of both, novice experience, where are you? Probably the next thing you need to look at, um, and sorry, there is another thing I've missed off, gun fit. So, you know, one of the things that I frequently come across is, is people wanting guns fitted and what have you, and uh, am I mounting the gun correctly? Again, there are specialists in these areas, and I think, you know, usually there are instructors out there who try to be jack of all trades, and I'm not a fan of that, I have to be honest. So, you know, I will recognise my depth of knowledge and often pass clients on to other people, particularly in the clay shooting world, I'm definitely not a clay shooting instructor, um, so I will pass people to other people who I know will take them further and, and faster and quicker, so to speak. So again, I think it, it, you need to narrow down exactly what you're looking for. I think once you've got an, a full understanding of what you're looking for and you can have written yourself a little bit of a list of where we're trying to, to go and what your journey or what you want that journey to be, then I think, um, to me, you need to um, have almost in your head created a little bit of a short list of instructors. I'm then going to start looking at experience. I think experience is massively important, okay? And that's why I said don't under, um, underestimate the local shooting schools. I was a senior instructor at Churchill for 10 years, okay, or not quite 10 years, but very nearly. Uh, eight hours a day, six days a week. I saw a huge, huge range of different clients with all abilities, from total novices having never shot before, right through to, you know, people who were incredibly capable shots and you, most of us would look at them and say, well, why does he want a lesson or she wants a lesson? So I think shooting grounds have a massive wealth of knowledge that shouldn't be overlooked. I think um, that experience is absolutely um, irreplaceable, in my view. Um, so I think I would start and look for that experience, those people that have been in the game a long time, I suppose that kind of leads on, leads on to reputation. So, you know, it's one of those things, reputations are hard earned, so they shouldn't be underestimated. People who have got big reputations usually have earned them over many, many years. Uh, so I think it's really important that um, you kind of look at those reputations, 
you know, that can be writing articles, that can be videos about them, that can be, you know, how they're received on, on social media. There's all different spectrum of things that you can now look at. Um, I think that um, once you've got that whole um, picture, I think, again, to me, what you're looking for, you're looking for somebody that you can kind of click with. So somebody that's got some a, a good flexibility. Don't be frightened to pick the phone up. Pick the phone up and speak to these people. Um, you know, do they come across as you want, you know, them to come across? Are they flexible in their, their approach? Are they happy to take on new ideas? Are they happy to teach different methods? You know, we're not all the same. We will all shoot slightly differently. So as a result, a good instructor will bring the best out in that client by trying to teach them slightly differently from what he might normally t teach them. I think it, it's massively important to me, and I, um, I often get involved with teaching other instructors, that... Um, nobody is 100% right, okay? There are always somebody who knows a little bit more than you out there. There's somebody that's got a different view. And I think the sort of instructors that hopefully you're looking for is that type of instructor, someone who will take criticism, who is used to kind of um, communicating to not just clients, but different instructors. As I said, I run classes. One of the things I always encourage those classes, you know, when I'm teaching other instructors, is there needs to be a kind of a bit of a rule, uh, what I call the no bullshit rule, excuse my language, uh, which is you, if you don't understand something or disagree with something, you put your hand up and go, I disagree. You know, that's wrong. I don't, I don't think that, that, that's something we should do or something we should teach. And I think ultimately what that leads to, that leads to uh, a better all round instructor. He becomes much more capable. So again, um, the shooting schools generate that kind of environment where they can do that. Um, something I particularly enjoy is, is, is getting involved in that. Um, I think then, um, you know, what we need to kind of, once you've got down to the final few, if you like, of who you're looking to looking to break it down to, cost can't be ignored. Obviously, I think there's a double-edged side with cost, so there's lots of people out there who I see spend thousands and thousands and thousands of pounds on guns and then can't shoot them to save their lives, okay? My advice is spend as little as possible on the gun and spend it learning how to shoot it, okay? Once you can shoot it very capably, then spend the money. Coming back to instructor cost, though, usually the better, more, uh, more in-demand guys, unfortunately, will be more expensive, okay? It's a supply and demand situation, okay? So if you look at somebody and you look at him and crack, he's really expensive, the chances are he's, he's expensive for a reason. And again, that comes back to my initial point of where are you in that spectrum? Can you get the full advantage of paying that extra money to see that guy? Okay, or are you better starting out at a shooting school and then progressing to that particular guy? Equally, there are lots of guys out there that are very cheap. The problem with cheap is, unfortunately, I'm usually a believer that you, you know, um, you end up buying twice for one of a better word. So it is, it is something that you need to be cautious of. Um, I suppose I can't really finish this without actually making some proper recommendations of people that I would use as instructors in the UK. Um, I'm bound to offend some people by not mentioning them. Okay, that's not to say that they're crap, but the guys that I'm going to recommend are, are, are guys who I personally come across, who I know are capable, who can do their job. I've broken it down into clay and game. Um, I think the clay shooting instructors that I would kind of be a, a go-to and two in particular um, that I work very closely with, Dave Beersmore would be one who works out of Dubridge. Uh, Ed Solomon would probably be another. Um, so I'll, they will often send me gun fits and bits and bobs and I'll send them clients, okay? Both very capable guys. Don't overlook Robert Cross at uh, Royal Berkshire. I think Robert is very capable. Uh, good technical knowledge. Uh, Richard Falls, as many of you know, you've heard me rave about Richard Falls just because I think personally he's one of the most technically competent shooters. When you watch him shoot, everything is right. That should be um, incredible shot. I think he's largely retired from, from instructing now, but if you can sneak a lesson in with Richard, I think it's well worthwhile. Uh, Hugh, Hugh Stevens at Barbary, again, Another one not to be overlooked, very capable, very knowledgeable guy, very quiet approach, but, but you know, somebody I would definitely rate. Moving on to the game scenario, I'm not going to name myself, um, but there are people out there, Steve Turner, Rob Archer, 
young guy, but very capable, very knowledgeable, been in the game a long time. He has done that whole shooting school thing of, you know, literally being up and down that valley at Royal Berkshire many, many times. So again, very capable. Obviously, Simon Ward. Simon Ward, good friend of mine. Incredibly capable shot. Um, extremely good instructor and gun fitter. Okay, again, one of my my top top links uh, or top people I would recommend game shooting wise. Um, I should mention my own Matt Smith. Matt Smith, been with me a number of years now. Very capable. Probably seen more grouse shot than many instructors will in their lifetime. Okay, more extreme pheasant shot. Um, it does hundreds of days in, in field. Again, very, very capable young man. Um, young, but he, he's, he's seen a lot for his years. Um, John Hegren at Bisley. John, again, kind of, I think he is, he's largely renowned as, a, you know, one of the few people who can cross from game to clays and, and back and, back and forward, so to speak. Again, very capable guy at Bisley. Um, Gordon Robinson actually is probably my wild card, not to be overlooked. I think Gordon's a very capable game instructor, um, and I think he he is somebody who you know I know he doesn't, doesn't teach much, but well worth having a lesson with. Again, I'll say it, I'm sure there are other very capable guys out there. I've given a list of people I know and who I've seen teach and who are who are who are capable. Okay, um, I think that um, one of the things I must stress is if you make a choice as an instructor. And you suddenly don't think it's going as it should be, don't be afraid to change, okay? I think anybody who is reluctant to allow you to change or allow you to move to somebody else probably isn't worth being with. So that would be my final point, that it's got to work for you, you've got to feel like you're progressing, you've got to feel like you're getting what out of it, what you put in. So thank you very much. Uh, I hope you uh, found that useful, and I will be coming back soon with and to answer more of your questions.